me, YouTubers. This is Lady Grave Dancer, and I'm here for another video. So that's why I'm in the same clothing and the same bad hair because of the humidity. I wanted to do a couple of videos today while I had a chance and just record them and just have them ready to upload so I wouldn't be behind. Video to new newbie witches, people who are coming back to the craft. I've done videos like this in the past. I'm getting tons of messages, and I love and I answer all the ones I receive. So if you've messaged me and I've not contacted you back, it's because I have not received your message. So I always tell people the best place to message me is on Facebook because that's where I know I get my messages. If you have not heard from me, you can feel free to post it on my page and say, hello, I messaged you if you you know have time, blah, blah, blah. And I'll go looking for the message. YouTube, I can't promise you I'm going to get your message because YouTube just sucks buttholes when it comes to messaging. I love YouTube, don't get me wrong, YouTube don't delete me. Because I love making my videos, but when it comes to messaging, they've totally jacked it up in the last year. Anyways, now, to newer witches. It's just, it's upsetting to me, some of the messages that I get because there's so many people who have been around a while in the craft are people who have read a lot of books who seem to think it's okay to criticize new people that are coming into the craft or people who are returning to the craft. I'm here to tell you not to listen to anybody and boo, whatever, I don't care. When you follow your own path and go on your own journey, you're going to figure out stuff that later you might pick up a book and read it and be like, oh shit, yeah, I did that. And I'm not, I'm not saying don't listen to anybody, okay, because I'm sitting here trying to tell you what to do. I'm, I don't mean to come off that way, it's just that I'm a little bit high strung right now because some of the messages that I've gotten from people and hearing about how some other people who have treated them who would be more educated in the craft. I don't feel that there's anybody who can tell us what to do on our path. I don't like to be told what to do and I don't think it just has to do with the fact that I'm a Capricorn either. I think it has to do with the fact that some people are just assholes and they get big headed because they know more more than that have has not read all the books or had access to all the books okay I am a born witch my great-grandmother was not one who read books she, she lived and raised her kids in the woods in a tent okay and there was no books to be read people came from the city to have readings done from her they paid her with clothes and food and chickens and whatever else that she would accept from them Okay, because there's a big college in town and they would come to her to get readings done. She didn't have books to read, but people came to her to do magic since it worked. People came to her for advice because she was good. And she followed her own path and didn't give a shit about what anybody else does. And it worked for her fine. And I know many people who have um, elders in their family who are here or have passed on who may have never even picked up a book. Books are great because we get to share and learn about other practices. Me coming into the YouTube community, oh, let me tell you, that was an ex experience in itself. Coming into the YouTube community and making you, people make you feel like you have to have a goddess. You have to have a god. No, you don't. I didn't think you had to have any of that. My grandmother only worked with the feminine and masculine. There was no name to go on those. Okay, I have been blessed to find Hecate in time and it works but it wasn't something like that it was seeked out she was actually brought to me a friend brought her to my attention at the time and it just clicked it just worked if it's meant to be it'll happen i i get so many i think the majority of my messages i get from people is how can i find my goddess just let it happen when i don't I think it's okay if you like read books and stuff and learn about all the deities and stuff like that but I think that when you're gonna find your deity it's gonna come to you and this is how I feel and people feel free to share comments just keep them civilized and we'll be okay I think that just like that person who is no longer in my life brought her to my attention there was a reason for it so then you go from there don't stress out if you don't have a goddess you can just work with the mother and father you know it doesn't have to be as complicated and I completely understand because like I said coming to YouTube and then they start putting names on everything you know names for your god and goddess names for um, certain magical workings and you would see the video and you're like what the hell is that and then you would find another video when someone's actually doing it and then you see it and you're like oh that's oh that's what you call it okay that's cool 
all the technicality that comes into communities and people with overeducated lingo, it annoys the hell out of me. I'm not gonna lie to you, it annoys me so much. I'm like, stop talking and start practicing. And this video sounds ugly because <laughs> I'm gonna say right now I'm at my wits end with how new witches are being treated. I don't like it. And I think it's bullshit that people who have been in the practice for a while treat so many new people are people who don't know as much or have as much stuff as some people and it irritates me so bad so i wanted to make this video to my newer witches and i want to say thank you because so many people who are new into the craft new into the practice or even people who are just trying to fill it out and see if it is good for them it brings refreshing refreshment to me makes me remember why I love it so much. I get so many ideas from new people because they look at things differently than some of us who have been around for a while. This is a new age, it's a new time. And it's not old school as much as it used to be. So our older community, we need to get our head out of our ass. And I don't know why I'm saying we, because I'm not like that when it comes to new people. I love it whenever I get questions about everything. From newer people because no question is stupid to me and it, there's nothing that someone could come and ask me that I won't try and help them and if I can't help them I'm always willing to try to help in any way I can if I don't know if I don't have the knowledge of that I will find somebody that does or I will get on Google for you and send you links it's just how I am I want to help people find their way and I want people to do it their way and not everybody else's way it's just I get so tired. I don't even go in chat groups no more because people are always bullshitting and talking shit about how other people are doing their things. We don't have to all agree. I mean, oh my God. Get over yourself. You know what I'm saying? And to my newbies, because I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of old schoolers bashing me and I could give a shit. To the newbies, I want you to know that I'm here for you. And there's nothing that you can ask me that I'm going to think is dumb. And there isn't anything you can't do. You don't have to have a single tool, a single tool at all. And if you need to do something and you message me, I will help you find what you need right outside your house and help you out because you don't need tools. You don't need anything to make your spells work. You just gotta believe in yourself. You gotta know that you're able to do it. You gotta know that the energies are out there for us. Our deities are there whether they have a name or not. It's all there for you. You don't have to avoid deity because you don't have a name for them. You don't have to avoid the energies that are out there because you're not sure exactly how to use them in spells. I am more than happy to help anybody who needs that kind of help. Now I'm taking a deep breath. Coming back down off of the high horse of bitching because that's what I was doing. And I just want to extend a welcome to the newbies. I want to tell you welcome to the community. For those of you who, those of you, boy, my Italian is coming out. For those of you who are new, I mean, for those of you who are just filling out and you're not sure which way you're going to go and everything like that, do me a favor and don't, don't watch so many YouTube videos because YouTube videos are awesome, full of knowledge, but they will mess you up and confuse you at the same time. Go discover yourself. Discover what you can figure out. What is your truth? What is yours? Not what is ours. Not what is my truth? Not what is my grandma's truth? What is yours? What is your path? What is it you're supposed to be doing? Again, so this video, I just want to extend a welcome out to everybody who is new, coming back, or just touching and seeing where they're going to go. Welcome. And if there's anything I can do for you, message me. I, it takes me a long time to answer all the messages that I get, but I do take my time to do it because I feel like that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm doing. I'm sharing and I'm helping. I'm not a teacher by no means. I guess I'm more like a, a preacher because I'm preaching some shit right now. And I <laughs> don't label me a preacher, please. But I'm definitely, I'm no teacher because I'm nowhere near educated enough to teach anybody. But I do know what my path is and what my truth is. And I would like to help people discover their own and stop getting so many copy and paste witches everywhere. I, I just hate that people get so confused whenever they are coming into this. And again, YouTube is an awesome tool. It's an awesome tool for us to have because we meet people. 
we discover other um, religions and paths and just everything but at the same time when we're trying to focus on ourselves and figure out what we're supposed to do YouTube can totally mess us up by watching all these videos and trying to be oh then I must need that oh I need to do that oh I have to have this you know it gets confusing and people walk away people are they'll stand back and think that they've got to read for you know a hundred years or whatever I got books everywhere I got one two three books here four five well that's a cookbook but let's add the cookbook in there right for kitchen witchery six and I know I got another one in that bag seven and I got two in my car because I love to read but not one of these books have read all the way have been read all the way through not one of these books maybe the cookbook I do like to cook but none of them have been read all the way through because if it starts trying to if I start reading something and I start questioning what I'm doing and it's something that I've always been doing then I I'm like and you stop reading you for a little while so books are great YouTube is great but once you start watching and reading it and you start feeling a little disheartened by what you're seeing like oh maybe this isn't for me I can't do that I can't get this or or so-and-so said I need to go do this before I could do that and this and that stop watching it and stop reading it go outside listen look around breathe a little bit go and practice some magics just random shit you know like I want to cleanse my house, you know, wipe down the counters with an herby substance. Do small rituals and spells to pull your witchiness back into you and, and make you rediscover why you wanted to be on this path. It doesn't have to be a whole big giant spell, a big giant ritual. I mean, damn, I got a video coming up of my um, floor wash. I went outside and I picked some rosemary. You got to watch that one too. It doesn't have to be overly complicated. You don't have to have all these tools. You're amazing regardless of what you do and I welcome y'all all into the community. Again, I'm thankful because I, I've learned so much from new people and people coming back into the path. I've, I've, I've learned so much from people who are just trying to fill out where they're going to be and some of them are witches, some of them are not. It's everybody's choice is their own and I love to have people and watch people discover who they are whether they are a witch or not or they're a Christian or a Catholic, whatever makes them happy. I love to see that. I love for people to find out who they are and find their own truth and be who they are. I love it. I do. I just love it. So, this is a... So, this was just kind of a bitch rant and a welcoming to newbies. I don't know. I just... I felt the need. I've gotten so many messages. When I tell y'all that I get hundreds of messages a week, I'm not lying. It's, it's no bullshit. I, I literally do. And I do my best to answer all of them. I, no, I don't do my best to answer all of them. I do answer all of them. Sometimes it takes me a little longer than others. So, Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see if I can do another video after I calm my demeanor down. And I will see you at the next one. If you have anything you want to add, let me, let me just do this. If you have anything you want to add, people who don't agree with me, perfectly. Please, by all means, start the discussion in the comments. People will discuss all the time in the comments. I love to watch it. Just keep it civilized. I'll go back and read, and you got four people having a discussion. That's what it's about. That is what it's about, a sharing and communicating. We're a community, you know? And we're not just a community of witches. We're a community of humans in general. So if we were more inclined to educate a Christian who was bashing us, then maybe there wouldn't be so many bashing back and forth. I know there's some out there who won't, but it's the same way with the pagans. There's some of us pagans who will not take the time, or some of us witches who will not take the time to try to educate a Christian or a Catholic or someone from another religion. It's both ways. It's a two-way street, and it's going all over the place, and I get kind of annoyed with it, to be honest with you, you know. But anyways, yes, leave it in the comments and, and start a discussion. If you agree with me, if you don't, it's fine. Just keep it civilized, because I will delete any comments if you're cussing or being just ugly I guess uh, actually I don't really delete the comments of people being ugly I just don't like when people start cussing each other like you know stupid bitch okay well bye I won't I won't leave that down there but all the other comments I leave there so alright guys I gotta do another video thanks for watching and blessed be bye